It's the energy vibration reading for all the um, Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the last week of the year 2017, and I want to say thank you for your like, shares, and support. I miss you, Aquarians, because there used to be more Aquarians coming up. Please like, share these videos, and thumbs up, like, and shares. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, please listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign and check out a week after this video will upload the year reading for the year 2018 because you are going to be so surprised it's going to be a wonderful year for you guys this week is the week of a water energy it is the week of the hermit coming in the energy of the number nine the energy of the hermit coming in and you are going to have an emotional but good emotional week with the energy of the hurt so you have water and hurt so this is going to be a very balanced week for you Aquarian so I want to say to each and every one enjoy yourself it's going to be Christmas so enjoy yourself and it's going to be very 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 positive okay I'm trying to get the light <laughs> it's gonna be extremely extremely positive so let's look and see and this week um, you guys have to deal with the Queen of Cups so um, the Queen of Cups could be your parents or you should take on the energy vibration of a nurturing love inside of the Queen of Cups or this could be a family member your grandmother your sister or brother sister not your brother because <laughs> it's the Queen of Cups and I don't see my reading that it can be a man no whatever comes up that is what is supposed to be so it's going to be with the energy of the Queen of Cups so whoever that is in your life this could be a friend but this is someone over the age of 40 and 45 over the age of 40 um, 40 to 65 somebody who is older so this person is going to have an effect on you in your life in this week so um, remember please like share these videos and listen to your Sun Moon Horizon and I want to say thank you so much for the support that you have given me throughout this year let's look and see what is happening on Monday you have a water energy where you're trying to find yourself and then you have to deal with certain aspect of yourself on Tuesday is going to be your best day Tuesday is really going to be your best day Tuesday and Thursday is going to be a best day because Tuesday the energy of the star comes up which you carry the energy of the star so this is going to be wonderful Thursday it is the energy of the six of one science which is in reverse so whoever that was sending negative energies to you it's going to be out of the Friday it's going to be another good day because what is happening is that the energy of the magician comes in and this is wonderful this is an air sign and it's a yes day so Tuesday and Friday is whatever you plan to do on Tuesday and Friday go ahead and do it because it's going to be positive oh so we're going forward and we're looking because there's a, it's going to be an emotional week for you guys it's just a lot of emotion <laughs> There is, is good. Oh my God! This is going to be an emotional week. Oh my gosh! I really, really need <laughs> to take a picture of this. I swear, I have to take a picture of this to show you guys what came out. But anyway, you're going to see it. It is amazing what came out for you guys. Okay, you have the energy of this water energy. So a whole lot of you are going to be having an emotional week because this moon that is behind here came up one twice three times four times the full moon comes up the full moon comes up in your reading four times the half moon came up um, three times and it's, it's it's like five times this moon comes up because you have one two three four five times this full moon comes up so a lot of you are going to be very psychic a lot of your intuition is going to be running eye gears in this week and this is the last week of December your birthday is about to happen you have five full moon and two half moons or two quarter moons uh, three quarter moons that is happening for you it is unbelievable it's going to be an emotional week so let's look at your reading 
I think I need, really 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 need to ask some question here these cards are um, just so okay we have the seven of cups and uh, um, the hangman on Monday the hangman is an emotional thing so Monday is Christmas of course you're going to be in a hangman mode it's quiet you're connecting with your family and that sort of a thing and you have the energy of the seven of cups this is really good because what is happening some people will be connecting with their families is a day where Christmas and that sort of a thing that is going to be the seven of cups is like a lot of gifts and a lot of presents are coming in because it's always um, a lot of new things a lot of new stuff another new thinking and that sort of a thing and this is very very positive this is going to be extremely good whatever is happening because the energy of the angman it's Christmas Day so it's going to be um, ex extremely wonderful so not to worry about this uh, wonderful 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 for um, the 26th because the 26th the energy of the star comes out so a lot of people wishes and dreams came out a lot of people wishes and dreams came up because a lot of looks a lot of looks the four of cups another energy of the four of cups so a lot of you got what you wanted for Christmas and this is good so this is fantastic so Tuesday is going to be your day because then it's the day after Christmas and you guys are going to realize that you have received exactly what you wanted and this is going to be so positive so this is good has we move on to the middle of the week um, another water energy because you begin the week with water it's going to be transformation and this is debt and transformation and this have something to do with the princess of cups so look around you and uh, this could be your daughter for some people it could be your daughter there could be an ending with a situation with your daughter and we're going to look at what exactly is happening why is this debt and transformation this is a princess of cup the princess of cups is someone who is between the ages of 25 and 45 and is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion so let's look because this is definitely what is happening with this um, a princess of cups obviously there's a situation because there's that and transformation I'm getting I should take two cards yeah the king of cups have to do with something in with an organization okay and um, there's something with an organization and this uh, um, this 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 queen of cups whatever is happening um, there is a something with the organization and um, um, what is happening with the screen of cups there's an ending there's an ending to something that this person did um, as, as if this person um, in an organization did something to you and um, you have overcome this situation because uh, um, she did something injustice and they found out what she did so we have because uh, this 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 um this 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 um building is a is protection is you know like um authority um um government buildings um you know whatever it is there is a protection um that came in so um um is a port long term protection so whatever happened um you have long-term protection against this princess of cups so look in your life because she was really a deceitful person she was ex she was really really um, a deceitful person okay whatever happened this queen of cups she was very deceitful not a really nice person and now um, you are going to receive protection from the screen of cups okay so look back in your life and see whoever the screen of cups is because there is coming in protection um, for you against this person so let's move on and see what exactly is happening you have the energy of the six of um, swords in reverse and this is good when it comes for, comes up for you guys in reverse because whatever that was happening whatever negative energies that was coming at you now it stops okay because it could have been coming from this queen of cups person which is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and um, whoever that person is you know they want you to know that 
um, you're protected um, from this person so whatever negative energies that she was um, you know whatever disappointment that you had and with this low energies that was coming at you which we're going to ask a question about and see what exactly because it it, it is in the reverse it is in river the reverse this five of cups so you had a regrets and it's a regrets about what had taken place so let's look what is happening information came out and there is a solution to the problem okay so this is good whatever that was happening okay um, you had such an regret about whatever has taken place and whatever negativity and whatever people were doing against you now the secret came out information came out the secret came out and now you're there is a solution to the problem because the secret came out so whatever the Queen of Cups was doing to you whether you're a man or woman or child a secret came out and now um, there is a solution to it okay let's move forward to Friday which is a lucky day for you because you have the energy of the magician you are the energy of uh, the air sign and this is good because uh, the six of cups uh, pleasure so on Friday you're going to be connecting with people and uh, um, bringing out wonderful situations uh, with other people a lot this is this is very good because it's pleasure the six of cups whatever the situation is there is a pleasurable situation that is going on and whatever is happening for you guys this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be positive so whatever way you look at it you're going to see that positive situations are going to be happening in your life um, Friday is going to be very good to connect to other people and other situations in your life and this is going to be extremely extremely good so let's look at the weekend the weekend is um, water oh my god this is an emotional week for you guys so um, on Saturday you have the five of cups again so um, but this five of cups is in reverse so you have the five of cups on Thursday in upright position on on Saturday you have it in a reverse so this is good because you're moving away from whatever that situation was okay so this is good so this is just so positive it is really giving you answers to whatever that was going on so on Saturday whatever the deception was that was happening in the organization against you um, now it's ended and you're finally moving away from the situation so we are going to look at Sunday oh my god two full moon on Sunday two full moon this is what I've been saying to you guys there's so many moons coming up so on Sunday you are going to be very happy celebrating it is the 31st of December so it's a um, 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 New Year's uh, um, Eve and this is wonderful because what is happening is a lot of abundance a lot of people going out to party and a lot of happiness the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are coming true so this is just gonna be grand um, so this is a wonderful positive read and the energy of the moon comes up these two full moon because you have five of these moon in your reading if you have been looking closely at your reading and this is wonderful because abundance the three of cups this is a lot of celebration Celebration. you'll be going out a lot of people will be going out if you're not going out you're in your house you're dancing you're happy you're celebrating with your friends and your wishes and dreams are going to come through so you're ending the year on a good note because you're about to begin your birthday in a month time you're going to be beginning your birthday so this is wonderful and positive so you ladies and gentlemen I am happy for you guys it is going to be a wonderful positive week and whatever that was happening with the school Queen of Cups um, you know she um, she set the stage um, to let you know what your weakest entail and it's a is a week of emotional situation okay so there is going to be um, a transformation so whoever that was dealing with someone in an organization and she was um, did she come back the princess of cups which is someone who is between the ages of 25 and 45 whatsoever that was happening with that situation whatsoever that was happening what you're seeing now is happening is that uh, 
um, the secret has come out you know you're protected against this person this woman whosoever she was you are a protected against her and whatever lies and whatever she tried to do the the secrets are coming out now and now there is going to be a solution for that so that is going to be good so your best days is Tuesday um, Friday and the weekend especially Sunday is going to be one of your most favorable day because you have the energy of happiness success and joy and everything because um, good things are about to begin in your life so this is actually a very very wonderful reading so let's look because I'm using like two different um, three different decks because it's the the last um, the this is really 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 the last reading that is coming up for this year for you guys and what is going to happen is that um, we are going to look this is the first card we're going to use is the um, Oracle and let's see what is happening oh this is nice this is wonderful um, this is a positive card because um, this is an eye of spirit so as you see how many moons was in your reading there's a lot of moons in your reading and your intuition is going to be very high so what was happening is that an eye of spirit is coming in to connect with you guys in this week and as I look around there is so many positive energies that is coming out and whenever the energy of the positive um, the energy um, comes up for this it's, it's, it's a wonderful wonderful um, situation that is happening because what you're seeing happening and what you're seeing taking place is positive energies coming up because the number four is saying conscious contact with an higher power so a lot of you will be having a conscious contact with higher power the present of the divine seeing source energy in all things and committing to a partnership with source so this is going to be powerful it's going to be a very very powerful week for you guys okay so next energy that I'm going to use for you guys because it's a it's a little extras because it's Christmas and it's uh, the end of the year um, you guys um, have mental conflicts in the reverse this is very good because it came up also for um, the birthday peoples and this is good so you guys are having and seeing things at a higher um, energy vibration way and this is very very good because whenever the energy of the mental conflict comes up that means you have no internal conflicts so let's look at the last energy that we have and we're using the unicorn which is these three decks are my like my most favorite decks the psychic tarot and the Oracle the wisdom of the Oracle and you have the energy of Archangel Michael and it says use your sword of truth to help the world use your sword of truth to help the world and this is good because um, I always get this energy <laughs> because I do the readings I always get this energy if, if, if I'm asking a question I'm always getting this energy and I want to say to each and every person Archangel Michael is the uh, master of your throat chakra and ask him to touch open and activate your throat chakra and trust me it's going to happen you're just going to speak to people and say exactly what you think without me even thinking ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for a wonderful wonderful year please like share these videos please thumbs up and like and share these videos the year reading will be uploaded a week after this reading I want to say happy new year I love you all I'm sending you a lot of hugs and kisses and I'll speak to you next year namaste